Hey, Rob here for Quadratech.com. Today we're checking out the CFX line of portable fridge freezers from Dometic, perfect for your next extended off-grid overland adventure. Now, of course, the biggest advantage of using a portable fridge freezer over a more traditional cooler and ice is, of course, a fridge freezer will simply plug into the 12 volt power supply in your vehicle. And as long as your Jeep's battery has some juice in it, well, that means that your fridge freezer is going to remain running, keeping your food and drink cold so you can stay out on the trail. Well, really for as long as you've got some stuff packed inside of your cooler. Now, another big advantage of using a fridge freezer over a traditional cooler and ice is that because you're not relying on ice to keep your contents cold, well, that's going to free up a lot more space for your contents inside. In fact, when you compare a fridge freezer to a similarly sized cooler, you're actually gaining about 60% more interior space because you're not filling it up with the ice to keep your contents cold. Now, the CFX line from Dometic does range all the way from a 28 model up to a 100 model, but today we're specifically going to be taking a look at two of the most popular sized models perfect for the back of your Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. Now, specifically, we've got the CFX 35W and the CFX 40W here. You can see these coolers are very similar in size. In fact, they have the same exact footprint, one being slightly taller than the other. Now, if we take a tape measure to them, we can start by seeing that both of our coolers are going to be 15.7 inches across. If we measure the depth of the cooler sitting in the back of our Jeep here, well, we've got 27.2, and that is the total distance, including the handles. And here's where the difference becomes. With the 35W, we've got a measurement of 16.2 inches high. With our 40W, well, that increases up to 18.1 inches tall, about additional two inches of height with the larger 40W model. Now, where that translates to with your smaller 35W model, it's actually 32 liters of capacity, and that's about 47 standard size soda cans. Now, we move up to the 40 model. Well, that increases six liters up to 38 liters and up to 60 total standard size soda can capacity for easy reference there. So you can see the additional benefit you get by going to a slightly larger model, again, with the same footprint. And what makes both of these very great choice for the back of your Wrangler Unlimiteds, of course, this being our 2018 Jeep Wrangler JL Unlimited, very similar in size to an 07 to 18 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited. And of course, these will fit just as well in the back of some other Jeep models or even earlier Jeep Wranglers if you've got the rear seat removed. As you can see, they don't take up a ton of space. We've got two in the back of our Wrangler and we still have some space where we could store some gear. Of course, if you're running one, you're still gonna have plenty of room left to bring everything you need for your next adventure. Now, if we start by taking a look at some of the inside features, we can see we've got a great amount of space inside here. We actually have two compartments inside the cooler. We had the larger, deeper compartment, and that's gonna be our main compartment, keeping everything cold. We also have a smaller compartment up towards the front of the unit here, and that's gonna be more of our cool compartment. It's gonna remain a few degrees warmer than the main compartment, making it perfect for things like produce and such that doesn't need to be at the same temperature we have set for our coldest needs in the back. Now, of course, I mentioned earlier, a portable fridge freezer does plug in to the 12 volt outlet in your Jeep, for power. One other nice feature with the Dometic CFX line is that they are dual voltage capable. And that means on the back side there is another power port. They do come with an additional power cord that will plug into a standard 110 outlet in your house. And that means that you can bring the whole unit inside before your next trip, plug it into the wall, bring it down to operating temperature, load it up with all your food and drink, and then when you're ready to leave, simply carry the whole thing out to the back of your Jeep change out the power cords to the 12 volt plug and you'll be ready to hit the road. But don't leave that cord at home because if you're going on a road trip, well then you can bring your fridge freezer in with you 
to wherever your destination may be and then run it again while you're out on your next trip. So it gives you a lot of different flexibility and options there, which is a really nice feature. Now, while we're speaking of power, another nice built-in feature on the CFX line. If we look right on the front of the unit here, we've got a little cover. We actually have a USB port right down here. That's a perfect place to plug in a power cord so that you can charge up a phone or other small electronic device, maybe if you're sitting at your campsite or you're around the tailgate of your Wrangler. Now, some of the other features found on the Dometic coolers, as we can see, we've got great reinforced corners. It's a very tough and rugged design, perfect to be throwing in and out of your Jeep, bringing on your next adventure. We also have some handles, one on the front, one on the back. They're spring-loaded. They're a great place to tie down your cooler, but they also make picking it up and transport the cooler in and out of your house or maybe just simply around your campsite. Now, one of the other things we see on the front here is, of course, our main control panel that's going to allow you to control all the different features on your fridge freezer. It's a simple, easy operation. We've got a long press on the power button here. We'll turn the unit off. Another long press. We'll turn the unit back on for us. We've got a couple readings. We've got an amber LED next to our power indicator. Now that means that the unit has currently reached its operating temperature and the compressor is not running. Now, if we were to change the temperature on here, and that were to turn green, that's an indicator to us that the compressor is currently running. We can see that in just a moment. Next up, we have our set button, and we cycle through the set, we can see some of the different menu options. So we hit, we can see we're currently set to a temperature of 27 degrees, and we can change this by simply using the plus and minus. And if we use the minus, we can see this will go all the way down to negative eight degrees, or we have a range all the way up to plus 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's gonna give you a ton of flexibility at whatever you wanna keep inside of your fridge freezer, whether it simply be some drinks, beverages, or if you wanna bring along some ice cream for your next trail ride. If we then cycle again through, we've got Fahrenheit or Celsius that we can set the unit to. Next up, this is actually a voltage sensitivity setting here. So right now it's in the medium setting. We also have a low as well as a high. Now what that voltage sensitivity level is going to do, it's going to monitor the power in your Jeep and it's gonna protect your Jeep's battery from being overly drained by the compressor, potentially leaving you in a condition where you won't be able to start your Jeep when it's ready to head back home. Now that means that you can set this to a high level of sensitivity, which will monitor your vehicle's battery, preventing it from dipping too low then a medium and a low setting, which will allow your battery to reach the lowest voltage before it turns off the compressor. So that's something that you need to decide what kind of trip you're on, how far away from home you are, how remote of a location are you in to decide what setting is appropriate to set your fridge freezer to before it turns off power to that compressor. Now, of course, even when it reaches that, that setting and it turns off power to the compressor, these fridge freezers are so well insulated that even while not running, the contents are gonna remain at the temperature you set them at for a very long time. Now finally, if we cycle through, we do have a dimmer feature here. We have three levels of dim that we can set the control panel to, which is another nice feature when we've got the fridge freezer loaded in the back of our Jeep here, so maybe not become too distracting if we're driving the Jeep at night. And finally, the last feature we have access to here well, this actually controls the Wi-Fi in our fridge freezer. That's right, the CFX models that end in a W. So for instance, our 35W and our 40W here have built-in Wi-Fi. Now that's not there so that you can surf the internet when you're out on the trail. It's actually there so that you can use the compatible Dometic app on your smartphone and you can monitor the current status of your fridge freezer, seeing what temperature setting is reached and also the power you can also go through and change all of the different settings on the control panel that we just ran through right from the comfort of using the app from the driver's seat of your Jeep or maybe even simply sitting around a campfire at your campsite. So as you can see, a ton of fantastic features built into the Dometic CFX 35W and the 40W, both perfectly at home in the back of your Wrangler, giving you the ability to stay off grid for an extended period of time, keeping your food and drinks cold 
really for as long as you have power in your Jeep's battery. Now, if you guys want to get any more information or purchase either the Dometic CFX 35W or the slightly larger CFX 40W for your next Overland Adventure, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about either of the models, you can leave those for us in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And you'll definitely want to hit that subscribe button so you're sure to catch all of our latest product reviews. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you guys out on the trail.